Dear colleagues, welcome to my hospital at Ranaghat, West Bengal, India. In this video, I want to show capsulorexis in an intumescent cataract as well as in an hypermature morgagnian cataract. This is the intumescent one. We have made the main incision. This is a side port on the left side of the main incision. Now, inject an air bubble. Beneath this air bubble, 0.06% tripon blue dye is sprayed over the anterior capsule. The dye should touch at all points of the capsule. Now, you need not wait for 20-30 seconds. Immediately afterwards, wash the dye out of the anterior chamber. Here it is. Enough staining occurs in 5 to 10 seconds need not wait for more than 10 seconds. Now this is hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose. Yes, it is not sodium hyaluronate. I am not against it but see it is possible to do nice capsulorexis using only 2% SPMC. And now here it is. Introduce the 26 case bent needle through the right side port and make a C flap. Incise the capsule and turn it so that it becomes a C flap and you will see that lot of oily fluid comes out. Now use a Utrata forceps, convert this C flap into a mini rexus, a small rexus. Even if it tends to go to periphery, there is enough room you can bring it back and do a small rexis at this point of time. Now use either bimanual IA or this very simple instrument a 23 gauze Simco cannula to aspirate some cortical lens matter. It will decrease the intralenticular pressure drastically and the cataract will behave totally differently. Now inject SPMC again, take a vana scissor, make a small cut at the margin of the rexis. It should be an oblique cut, it should not be a radial cut. And now use the uterta again, convert this small rexis into an optimum size rexis. You will have very nice control at this time. There will be no tendency of the capsule to run to the periphery and you can very easily very safely to complete this rexis. And now let us see this case. This is a hypermature Morgagnian cataract. You have made the incisions, you have stained the capsule and you have injected 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose in the anterior chamber. Now introduce a 26 gauze band needle incise the capsule and see what happens milky fluid comes out and now you can aspirate this milky fluid through this opening itself you need not convert this opening into a mini rexis in hypermature morganian cataract the tendency of the capsule to go to the periphery is much less though milky fluid comes out meaning there is high intralenticular pressure. As soon as the capsule is punctured, the pressure buildup is no more and you can easily and safely aspirate the milky fluid through the incision site itself. And now inject viscoelastic substance. Take a uterta forceps, hold the capsular tag and very slowly, very gently do the rexis. In hypermature Morganian cataract, your pool should be very gentle and always watch the character of the capsule. Is there any wrinkling of the capsule? Are you tearing some genular fibers as you are pulling the capsule? If you are pulling, if you are tearing off some genular fibers, be more gentle, be more slow and complete the rexis. 
thank you very much for watching hope this will help you in your practice